welcome back to the channel and welcome to cyberpunk 2077 my first initial impressions of the game i want to state right now that these are my personal opinions my personal views i am not trying to make people hate or dislike the game if you are enjoying it i am more than happy for you and again, these are my very first impressions from playing the game for about two to three hours across two of the life paths, which is Nomad and Street Kid. Now, first and foremost, I just want to say the aesthetic of this game, the graphics of the game, the power of this game and the extraordinary looking world that they have built is absolutely incredible. And I cannot wait to explore the world some more. But I will say this game, at least in the beginnings of the game, doesn't give me a reason to care about exploring the world. It doesn't give me like a vibe of, oh, I have to go and check this. So when I started playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla, which is obviously another RPG style game, the very first couple of things you can do is raid areas. And when you raid those areas organically on the map, other opportunities appear for you like mysteries or artifacts, you know, stuff like that. And then that makes you want to think, oh, I want to go and find these things. And you organically go to explore. And, you know, the, the whole side quest ex exploration of Assassin's Creed Valhalla is very, very, very cool in that way. Makes me want to go and do things. For Cyberpunk right now, the only reason to kind of go off path and explore is to loot things. You know, there's a lot of useless things for you to go and pick up. And for me, that's kind of like I have to get absolutely everything. I have to go pick up everything. But unfortunately, like 95% of the things that you pick up are pretty much useless. They're junk materials, which obviously will add up to something in the later states. But there's nothing like specific, like, you know, going off path to find a weapon or something. You know, you're just going to the for the sake of going to collect junk, which is fine. You know, you expect it in these games. But I would just love to just have an hour of my time and just go search anywhere I want and actually have a reason to do that. But like I said, these are my very first impressions and I'm sure as you get into the later stages of the game, this will become apparent, you know, with specific side quest missions. Now, I want to talk about sound. Right now, the sound for me is really frustrating. You know, when I'm driving in a car next to a character who's talking to me, I could barely hear them. Even when I turn down the music volume, the radio volume, their speech just doesn't feel like they're right next to me. It feels like they're further away from me than they are. And then also when you're driving in a car, you can hear people on the street, like on their mobile phones, louder than you can hear the people in the car and it is just really irritating to me it's kind of like a personal little gripe because that shouldn't be happening and there seems to be quite a lot of bugs with the sound like in one of the very first street kid missions you go and rescue this woman from a bathtub and you get into a big fight ahead of time before you save that woman now there was one npc who was just screaming over and over again something like come here i'll fight you and he was just like come here i'll fight you over and over again even when i wiped out everyone in the area and i was going to save the woman and then put her in the trauma team that whole time where it's meant to be story based i had this sound in the back bugging out constantly screaming come here i'll fight you and it was just really really off-putting i mean there's quite a few bugs and glitches and i'm sure they will patch it you know people fall through floors people walk through doors that are closed and various things like that and now the thing that i don't understand is is with all the delays that they put onto cyberpunk why are these things not fixed why are these things not in the state that they want them to be I just don't get it really like this. This should be more of a finished product for the amount of times that they have pushed back the game. Now I want to talk about, you know, the story side of things so far for both the Nomad and the Street Kid. Nothing really pulls me into this story. You know, when you talk to people, there are multiple options when you are talking to them so you can have a conversation. But there's only one direction that you can take to continue the story. So there's like a specific yellow, it's written in yellow and it's like, this is how you move on with the quest. And then the other story parts of it are just having a conversation with someone, you know, some background, some lore. And it's just not that interesting to me to want to click them. So I just keep clicking the continuing through the story just to get through it because the extra conversation things they don't change anything it doesn't do anything i feel like having specific choices that changes the narrative or you know might make someone react to you in an angry way rather than a nice way needs to be more apparent in this game and i'm guessing you know with big storylines and big main storylines down the line that may be the case but introducing the world it's just it's not pulling me in it's not gripping me and a lot of the characters so far 
aren't that interesting. They're really not. It's just, I don't know, they feel just kind of flat and not really anything that special. Even like the enemies, it's like, okay, they're just a typical enemy. There's nothing great about them. Obviously, their aesthetic and their design and how they look is incredible. But the actual like characters don't seem that gripping to me. And I really hope down the line in the game, things really start to get interesting with the characters. And obviously, the introduction of Keanu Reeves' character, Johnny Silverhand, I think that will really change how interactions with characters and how interesting they are will be. And I guess the last thing I want to talk about is combat and gunplay. The gunplay in this game is awful when you start out. You see, I'm playing on normal because I don't really care about playing games on hard. And I almost died in the VR tutorial for gunplay. The mechanics just don't feel good. The gun just feels floaty. It feels crazy. It feels wild. Aiming down sights doesn't change the sensitivity of your camera. So whatever you're running around the world in and you're looking around and your sensitivity, your gun will be exactly the same when there's no option in the settings as far as I can tell to change that. So your aim down sight is a little bit wild, a little bit crazy. Now I'm hoping down the line with you know your cybernetic implants, your perks, your skills, this really tightens up that aim down sight. But introducing you to the world and having that kind of wild gunplay just feels wrong like it's like i want to be hooked into this game or you know combat is in this game i want to have gunfights but then they show you that the gunplay at the very start of the game isn't that good and i kind of felt at that point like i just want to play destiny or i just want to play assassin's creed i kind of really just hit a wall with wanting to be interested in this game now i will say that the actual fist and melee combat seems pretty good it seems like it actually works and feels nice and i'm sure if you got a whole build built around melee that would be incredible but you shouldn't have to be forced into that you know the gunplay and the gun mechanics need to be improved or at the very least there just needs to be a setting to change your aim down sight sensitivity away from what your camera sensitivity is now with all the moaning out of the way i do want to say that i am interested in completing and finishing this game because i do think the mid to end game is going to be incredible i feel like once you start getting upgrades and skills you know it's going to become more interesting it's going to become more unique each character that you make each life choice that you make is going to be interesting in that way there's a lot of things to do in that sense and i'm sure the world will open up to side missions and exploration but it's just like i want that off the bat i don't want to have to play the game for six hours in this uncomfortable setting that i feel that it is you know having an uncomfortable experience just to get to the part that i want to get to i do think this game is overhyped i don't think it's as great as people depict it to be especially critics and stuff who a lot of the time kind of just go with the flow and say that everything's amazing when it really isn't i do think it's a really good solid game you know it's got some bugs and stuff but that can be patched out i do think it's an, a, a game you can sit and play for hours on end if you like that sort of thing but i don't think it's anything you know innovative or game changing i don't think it's going to be like game i don't even think it will get game of the year next year because i don't know it just, the world feels big it feels expansive but it also feels kind of flat you know even npcs that are around you know you can talk to them but you don't have a full conversation with them they just give you a voice line they're like hi there or why are you looking at me you know something like that and it's kind of like oh man allow me to talk to some of these people and have a conversation you know maybe maybe stir up like a relationship with a random npc or you know they ask you to do something randomly you know there's no side quest marker but once you talk to them you know something could develop I guess the word is bloated. The world feels bloated right now for me in the very start of the game. It's big, it's massive, it's pretty, you know, it's inviting into the exploration of the world, but everything else is kind of just flat for me. So it's not linking up. So I'm going to have to play the game more to get to a point where I want to be and enjoy the game in a way that I want to enjoy it. But I will give it a chance and I will get to that point in the game and maybe I'll do a full review down the line. But my first impressions are if I was to rate it out of 10, I'd probably be about a 6 out of 10. That's just my thoughts, my opinions though. If you are enjoying the game, I'm so happy for you. Please let me know in the comments section what you're enjoying about it. You know, what life choice did you make? You know, things that you're enjoying, what builds have you got? What weapons are you using? Let me know in the comments down below. But that's it for right now. Thank you for watching. I've been Ethan now. You guys have been awesome.